Hello folks, today I'm out in the greenhouse again. It's uh, starting to get very cold outside, it's frosty and uh, the snow will soon be arriving here. But in the greenhouse there's still a little bit warm. And today I'm having a little overview over my breeding projects. I have done some recent uploads uh, about pollinating different plants in here and uh, I wanted to show the progress and uh, what they look like now. The rose quartz I crossed with uh, Mennonite is looking like this now. It's still small but it's growing and it has taken. I've done some more here as well just to be on the safe side. Here you can see the shirt tomorrows. And these are, as I said, crossed with um, Mennonite. And uh, <coughs> further down here, let's see, on this rose quartz plant, I've also crossed them with um, Cherokee purple to get some sweetness in the breed. And here are the size of those tomatoes now. They'll probably turn red in a month time or something. We'll see. Okay. And uh, let's see here what we got. Yes, here, here's a Cherokee purple and it's crossed with Mennonite. I don't know if these have taken yet because it's only a few days ago I did it. And the black zebra cherry that I had here uh, I've now taken the tomato inside and um, taken out the seeds and processed it by uh, fermenting. I can show you the seeds here. And here is the seeds from the cross between black zebra cherry and uh, Cherokee purple. The tomato is now ripened and I have processed the seeds and drying them here. So they're going to dry now for about a week. And the next one out is the lemon cucumber. This lemon cucumber here, you can see here, is crossed with red mung cucumber. And the pollination has been taken and here is the result. So I'll hope it grow and grow and ripen in here. And in another of my recently videos I showed pollinating um, cucumber, a birdless. Here it is and it's grown quite big now. So I'll hope this one will ripen as well. This was the red mong cross with birdless. And here's a funny shaped cucumber. Uh, this one is a cross between a birdless cucumber, seedless, and um, lemon cucumber. It's quite small still. And all these other cucumbers here, you see them down here, they are crosses between burpless cucumber and um, red monks. So I hope 
these cucumbers still grow and don't fall for mildew and other stuff like that. Let's see here now. Did I have any more? Yes, I had one. I done another cross here. It's a cross between uh, orange, big cherry and uh, Mennonite. And it needs to grow to the double of this size before it's ripened. I don't know if you're able to see this, but it's uh, the temperature in uh, the greenhouse. Just now in the evening. So it uh, sinks quite low in night, down to about 7-8 degrees Celsius. Even with the uh, heat on it inside here, it gets quite cold. So in the middle of the winter it gets quite cold in here, I believe. So uh, I'll probably won't be able to grow anything. But uh, each and every winter are different, so we never know. Yeah. Okay, this was only a little shorty and I'll soon be back again. See you guys. Be kind to each other.